Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Rubber Stand. Today's project, jellyfish, that's started. Okay, so we are going to use the under the sea stem set and also the matching die set and we are going to use our words background. So the magic mushroom and the color impact, the dye base color impact, versa mark, clear embossing powder, and we are going to use the watercolor car star. I just found that watercolor car star they blending better. So we have over 100 different tutorial, 100 plus tutorial they are ready to view and a lot of stamping techniques, ideas. Make sure you check out local King Rubber Stamp online DVD library. Okay, I switched from my Marvy Impact to Memento Impact a while ago. So if you don't want to invest a lot of money for the Impact because it is a full size Impact and I believe they are $5.99. So if you want to have all 48 color, that costs uh, almost uh, um, two, three hundred dollars So Robert Necker, they come out with the four, uh, 48 brand new colors. They call the Color Fuse. They have a few 48 all like beautiful colors that are ready for you to use use and the price is a half of size of the full size impact. So if you're interested, go to their website uh, robertnaker.com, check out their brand new product, the Color Fuse Impact. Okay, do you know what color is jellyfish? I did a little bit of research on the Google. Um, they say the jellyfish have too many different kinds of color. They have a pink, light blue, beige, a lot of different color. But the one I met, I personally met, it's clear and also most of the aquarium I went the jellyfish they are usually in the blue tank and they are most of the time with that Nile um, lighting they are usually clear so that um, that gives me the idea to create those beautiful beautiful car any color you use the background and it's going to turn out to be the jellyfish color I actually got the stunk by jellyfish one time when I was kids is very painful so I am sure the one I met is clear okay so I have uh, eight uh, colors here and uh, you can make it any color you like it's just the foundation color and we're going to try to keep simple just use the two three color will do so you can do the orange tone or you can do the like a blue greenish tone so I have my color in, um, um, here ready to go we're going to use the magic mushroom and then um, that's just uh, working with the orange one and I'm going to fast forward the blue one it's just a pretty same technique you are going to always start with a lighter color first and always test your mushroom make sure they are ready to use if you try to apply on your scrap paper there's no color that means your mushroom is ready for the light color if when you apply on the scrap paper they show some color that means your mushroom is dirty you got to clean it and if you haven't used your mushroom for a while make sure you give it a little bit mist you want them um, have a little bit moisture so they work better we are going to use a watercolor car stock I just found that watercolor car stock they blending better and they this is the watercolor cards that I got from Michael. It's called Kensen. Okay, so you can um, rubbing or tapping. They all uh, work well. I prefer just uh, gently rubbing. And then you can always testing on your scrap paper. We always want to have a very, very light color. So just uh, um, gently tap, tap, tap. Okay, just to have a few spot. That's going to be one um, jellyfish over there. And then here is one more. When you hit hard, they get a darker color. When you release a little bit pressure, they become lighter. So wait, I think I want to have a um, two or three, three or four jellyfish. So over once when your mushroom is a little bit less color, you can actually draw in a circle, do whatever you like. See, I just dip one color, and I actually can do four. Um, for circling okay and then we are going to move the median color for the jellyfish background I'm only going to only use a three color so you don't have to clean your magic mushroom because we was using a lighter color now we're going to use a little bit darker color just gently brush we don't need too much if it's not enough we go back to add more and then we try to find the other spot Okay, just give a little bit touch out, drawing a little circle, and then if it's not enough, we go dipping a little bit more. So that's the orange. 
Okay, and then we are going to add a little bit pink. So for the pink one, we're going to use our um, pink mushroom. So the color is pretty much it, so I'm not going to just clean it. Okay, so that's just to find the spot. Just to find a little bit spot. Drawing a little circle. I wish you can feel those uh, mushrooms because they are so soft and they are so easy to blend. So that's my foundation color for my orange car. And I'm going to just fast forward for the blue one. It's just the same technique, three color, light, medium, dark. Okay, this is my foundation card. One is orange, one is blue, and just three color, light, medium, dark. So this is this technique is kind of like a resist technique. So we got to make sure this is completely dry because watercolor paper, they really absorb any moisture. So, and I'm going to explain to you why you have to wait completely dry. Um, you can dry with a heat gun, but I don't really find out it actually work well. So what I do is I actually stamp some and I just leave it overnight and then I'm sure they are completely dry. You want to make sure they are completely dry before you apply the embossing powder on top. Okay, and then we're going to use the jellyfish and the coat it with the clear embossing to create that clear coat. And then so that way we can make a, um, any jellyfish color the basic, basic on your foundation color. But for this technique, you got to make sure that you need a shadow stamp. The shadow stamp is a solar image like this. It's not like an outline stamp. If you have an outline stamp, you won't be able to seal the jellyfish. So we need a shadow stamp. And the shadow stamp, local king's shadow stamp, um, on the package, they always have an S. And the shadow stamp is easy to tell. They are what the outline is usually what. They can color with markers. They can usually um, also use a lot of different kind of techniques. So make sure you check our DVD library, a lot of information. So those two cards are the card that I created yesterday and I'm sure they are completely dry. I'm going to explain to you why you want to make sure it's completely dry. And then I'm going to use the embossing. So I have these embossing bodies. If you have it, just give a nice rubbing on top. that help you to get a nice clean um, image. If you don't have it, just use a swiffer. Kind of just rubbing the surface of your um, cardstock and then we're going to stamp. So make sure your Versa mark have enough uh, um, ink um, because they have no color. Sometimes if your impact is too dry, you don't know and you don't get a nice image. So this is how I inked my stamp. Um, I usually rub rub when I use the uh, die base, but when you use a VersaFine, not VersaFine, VersaMark is kind of like sticky. You got to tap tap, make sure you have a nice um, coverage. And then we're going to just a stamping few. Versa mark is seeing true. Um, you cannot really see, so you just kind of have to memorize, memorize uh, where did you put your jellyfish. And okay, so I have a one, two, three, and then you can just stamp anywhere you like. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to just uh, ink the other one this corner. Okay, just be careful. Try do not over um, uh, layering with the same image. And then we are going to do the embossing. Please check uh, my tutorial other, I think tutorial number 115. There's a lot of uh, nice um, tips to show you how you get a nice uh, um, embossing powder images. So we just uh, fast forward how to do the clear embossing. Okay, so this is what look like a cover with uh, clear embossing. So I just use the clear embossing on top of the jellyfish. The reason I keep uh, repeating why you got to make sure that your foundation card is completely dry before you do the embossing. This is why. Because watercolor is very moisture. See this area? 
because I did the without my um, paper completely dry. So when I steam the image and then when I sprinkle the powder on top, the paper will still grab the, the powder because they are wet. So that's why you got to make sure your foundation color is completely dry before you stamp it with a Versamark. Okay, so next we are going to use two darker color to kind of fill it out the gap. The place we already have a uh, embossing, the jellyfish embossing, is kind of resist. And because I'm using the clear embossing, so any color I use under, they will stay um, stay that color. And I'm going to just use a darker color to fill it out the gap. I don't really use black. I found that black is too heavy. So I'm going to just use a dark blue and dark purple. So just ink your ink pack with this uh, magic mushroom and this mushroom is uh, so smooth when you touching it. See, you just find one spot, you just gently circling around. Okay, and then we are going to use the purple. As soon as when you apply that dark color, on top of that jellyfish and then your jellyfish is going to just pop out and then this is something else we're going to do it before just want to show you see the color isn't that pretty and then let's just add a little bit darker darker blue and then see the corner of this jellyfish is not show up right so I'm going to just use the darker color Okay, and then you want your darker color kind of breathe. So just uh, um, just uh, make sure when you apply this color, you don't want to push too hard. You want to push hard and release a little bit pressure, and that way you will get the darker color and the lighter color. So don't um, just uh, um, put the same weight. Try to move around, and those uh, matching mushrooms just. Uh, awesome for the blending they are so smooth you don't see the stroke and then we're going to put a little bit darker purple and then when the two color two color um, blend together they actually create a third color see okay that's just uh, do a little bit here Isn't that awesome? And then we can just add a little bit darker color here. Any way you like. Okay. And then um, when I blending it, you can, uh, I wish you can feel it. And then here, I would like to ask a favor. If you already own a, per, um, a, um, a set of uh, Local Kings Magic Mushroom, could you please write a um, comment? Uh, let the people know how this mushroom work. Do you like it? Are they really work the way Lisa showing? Okay, so now after you finish, I think that's pretty much it. I like it. I like to stop because I like to have some uh, light color here, lighting. And I'm going to use a wet cloth, kind of just gently raw, um, clean those color which is sitting on my embossing powder. So that way, see my jellyfish, they change the color basic on your background. And I think that's so pretty. If you like to add a little bit more, you can add a little bit color here. Anything, any color you like. So I'm going to fast forward for the orange car. Okay, and then um, I'm going to just fill it out a little bit gap between. I just found out it's a little bit empty, but if you like the way, just like that, just go for it. So I am going to just use the um, the last darkest color I'm using, and then just gently rub a little bit in the middle, and I put my car on top. And I kind of just circle in the middle because I only want the middle have some print. I don't want to have the whole sheet have the all the script on top. Okay, so that's it. Do you like the orange one or you like the blue one? Which one is your favorite? If you like that, you can add a little bit of embellishment, those kind of water drop 
on top so that's what I did I use the least one or you don't have this one just use your three-dimensional glue just give it a little bit touch up so it looks like we are stuck at home um, in April too um, all the uh, April shows they have been uh, postponed or cancelled so we are trying very hard to try to keep our online store running and we are going to offer a great promotion again and then a little bit preview for my next tutorial this is going to be the next tutorial isn't that cute okay so thank you for watching this is a list of local king rubber stamps see you next time